So I want to start this video with saying I have a lot of hope and I have a lot of hope because I go down these different rabbit holes and I look for information. I feel like the more information you have, the more empowered you are to make change in your life and hopefully in the lives of the people that you love. And for me, I like one of the rabbit holes I recently went down is the CCI report or index or whatever. And it's the consumer confidence report. And again, like all of this stuff is just smoke and mirrors. It's just noise. It is noise. And I don't think the average American even pays attention to this, but I had to laugh because I'm like, what is the point of this, this report, right? It's the consumer confidence report. Like how are we all feeling about the economy? Well, I don't feel so great about the economy. And most of the people I talk to do not feel that great about the economy. Why do they produce this report? This is for big corporations to be able to see if the consumer is still winning, willing to spend money in today's like economy. And the reality of it is, is the numbers are down, right? From last month or a couple months ago. And, um, but it's still maintaining strong. Well, what this means, what this report means is that the average American is still willing to spend money in the economy. It doesn't mean that they feel great about it. It doesn't mean that we're thriving as you know American citizens. It just means we're willing to spend money. And they need to know that in order to do their shareholders and to project their projections on their stocks and it impacts their numbers and their profits. And if they're making money, if they know they're making money, where are we spending the money so they can make sure that they're capitalizing on squeezing more and more money out of us. And I think the average American, most of us are probably doing it with debt or barely surviving or buying the items that we need. I know for me personally, we've downsized and really simplified our lives and are continuing to work on that because we're tired of the nine to five grind and we want to be able to be a little bit freer with our time, more involved with our children. Uh, we're looking at doing some volunteer works with different organizations, giving back to the local community and getting back to people and being productive and community and growing and learning together. And it is so empowering when you just stop like realizing that this whole thing that we've been living is just, it's smoke and mirrors. It has kept us so overwhelmed. And it's like, you wonder, you wake up every single day and you like, feel like, like you don't feel like you're winning, you know, like you're like, is this what life is all about? I'm 46 years old. And I've been like, is this what life is all about? Like, I'm just going to work like this. My dad passed away before he ever retired and he was a ranch hand and a janitor and he, he worked very, very hard. And so did my mom. And, you know, it's like, we're chasing that retirement and he never even got to have it. You know, he passed away in his sixties and it's like, you know, I don't want that. I don't, you know, I don't necessarily even believe in retirement, but I believe in doing something with your life. And I think that's a whole thing that they've created for us to believe in is that, you know, we have to do this now because it's going to pay off later. And at what point does it pay off? I mean, that's really on us. And I think understanding that the system has literally been rigged against us and majority of our beliefs and what we have been told are false. And you have to just get engaged. You have to ask questions. And it's not about these hot topics of abortion and all these different things and immigration, all these things they want us to be at odds and ends with one another. These extreme topics and these extreme talking points, they go from the extremist of both of these topics and it just gets people riled. And um, I just think that it is important just to have the simple conversation. What do you want out of life? What do I want out of life? How do we be able to coexist with one another? How do we support each other's hat? Like, you know, being happy, like, I don't know. I need to stop the rant. I appreciate anybody listening. I hope everybody is having a great day. There is tons of hope. You just have to grab it. Um, take care.